Hello, I'm Alexandra from largefamilymama.com and today I want to talk to you about homeschool maths. So before I get into the video, I just want to make a disclaimer that this video is not sponsored. I have bought everything myself um, and this is just my opinion. I have got eight children and I've been homeschooling for over 10 years and we've tried a few different approaches to maths and we know now definitely what we like and what we don't like. So I thought I would share that with you today. So our homeschool is quite eclectic. We use a little bit of Waldorf, Charlotte Mason, Montessori and so on. We just like to pick and choose the things that work for us and the things that and leave the things that don't. So a couple of years ago I bought a complete Waldorf curriculum that included all the subjects including maths. It was full of mistakes and it was very very simple and it just wasn't working for our family. I actually made a video about my regrets of buying that curriculum and I'll leave a link to that video for you. So one of the reasons I think that the Waldorf maths approach wasn't working for our family is because Waldorf is a very teacher-led way of educating and with me having so many children to teach it was impossible for me to be able to teach each of my children a different lesson in each subject. I just really did not have the time for that. If I had only one, two, maybe three children then um, I think that would have worked great but for us I I couldn't really make it work. We did use these books which are called Making Maths Meaningful and they are really good and we do still use those a bit. They are very helpful in a lot of ways but my children were not enjoying it very much. So before we bought that curriculum we were actually using Math UC and my children were getting on fine with that and then when we stopped using it and tried the, just the, doing the Waldorf maths, they really missed the math you see. So we went back to that and my children love it more than ever now, I think because they had a break from it and tried other things they really appreciate now how good it is. So if you haven't heard of the math you see before, it's a mastery system. So unlike when you go to school, um, you learn lots of different areas of maths at a certain level, then when you get older and move up to the next year, you still do all those different areas of maths but you do it at a bit of a more difficult level and you keep doing that as you go up through school but um, with a mastery system what happens is you just learn one or two areas of maths and you really master that you spend a whole year mastering a couple of areas of maths before you move on to the next stage so this wouldn't particularly be a very good curriculum if you were planning on sending your children back to school in the future because there are some areas of maths that they may not have covered yet if that makes any sense so for example i've got the zeta set here and this just focuses on decimals and percentages and that's all they do for the whole year each week you are introduced to a slightly new area within those subjects but it's all related to the decimals and percentages. So when you buy the set you usually have a teacher's manual, the student text and then a test booklet and you also have a DVD but I haven't brought that up here so I can't show you at the moment but there is a DVD and on the DVD each week there's a video to show you how to do the new bit that you'll be doing that week and you are recommended to buy the blocks at the beginning when you buy the primer level and that really helps the younger children visualize the maths that they're doing and that yeah that seems to work really well you can get a two block and a four block put them together and see that two and four make six and that's what they look like now if your child wants to see what eight add four looks like they can compare it to the 10 and they can see that 8 plus 4 is the same as 10 plus 2. And then as you move up, uh, you don't need to buy anything else until you get to the zeta level and then there's some algebra and decimal manipulatives that you can buy. But I haven't actually bought those because if I need to show my children visually percentages or anything, I'll just draw it out on the blackboard and they can see it that way. So Matthew C is a much more child-led curriculum than what I was previously using. So what happens is on... A Monday my children will look at the DVD lesson for that week or I will show them like the younger children I show them the new parts of the maths that they're learning for that week and then they will work through one of the sheets there's six worksheets that they have a week and one test 
at the end of the week. So they will have the lesson for the Monday morning, then they will do one of the worksheets, and then on a Tuesday they will by themselves do two worksheets, and then on a Wednesday they will do two worksheets, on a Thursday they will do one worksheet, and on a Friday they will do one worksheet and the end of week test. And each worksheet takes approximately I would say between 5 and 15 minutes so it's not very long at all and that's always the first lesson that we do on our school days. And there's how to use the book and these are the things that you can use to explain to your children on the Monday like I do before they start the week of the worksheets and everything and the test. This is what you do on the Monday. You explain what's coming up that week and there's a DVD that also explains it so you don't have to do it, you could just watch the DVD. And then at the end you have the answers to all their worksheets. Then you have the student text here and like I said you've got six worksheets a week. So we have A, B, C, D, with a quick review on that day, E and F, then it goes into the second week um, and it just takes the children through the subject really gently and they really do master each little thing as they go along. And then there's the test booklet. I have the UK edition um, so all when we use money or anything it's in pounds and pence rather than dollars and cents and things like that so it's really good for us in the UK as well and then these are the tests that they do at the end of each week. Like all curriculums it's not particularly cheap and to make it more affordable for my family what I do is I photocopy each of the books and then one child will do that the photocopies and then when the next child moves up to that level I will do a photocopy for them and then you know every time a child needs that level I will give them a copy and that way I only have to buy one set of Matthew C per level and all my children can use them. Matthew C also have a really great website where you can download extra worksheets totally for free so if you wanted to try that you can do that. Each of their sets have different names like Zeta, Delta, Alpha, Primer and so on um, and so they're not fixed to any particular grade so if your child's not ready to go to a certain level then they don't even feel you know they don't feel bad they don't think that they're doing work that's less than what they should be doing or more so that's quite nice as well and if you go onto the Matthew C website you can do a little test to see what level your child will be at and what set they will need um, also on their website they have sheets that you can print out where you can keep scores of how many questions your child got right with each worksheet and their tests and so on. I don't do that because I'm not too worried about that. As long as they seem to be understanding it then I'm fine. But some people they like to have all the records to show how their child's doing and so you can print that out easily from their website. So I really hope you enjoyed listening to a little bit about how we do maths in our home school. Next week I'm going to be doing a video showing you some differences between the Waldorf and Montessori education systems and why we choose to use parts of each. So if you want to see that video then please do subscribe. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I shall see you again very soon. Bye!